from Boston College. There's a freshman up there, and you've got your, your boyfriend, Kevin. How you doing, Kevin? How you doing, Regis? Well, nice to have both of you here. Uh, you had a kind of a memorable experience in the subway here in New York City recently, right? Uh, well, two years ago, actually. Ah. A friend and I were going to, we were turning home from shopping in Soho. We were on the sixth train, and there's nothing to do on the subway except people watch. Yeah. And this woman just all of a sudden gets up, looks to her right, and screams, can I take a picture with you? So I just glanced over, and it was Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. Wow. So then... Did they ask about me? <laughs> they should have. A little bit? Yeah. This is before you met Kevin. Right. <laughs> All right, so now listen, you've won $1,000, you're going for $2,000. Let's get back to it. Let's play. Here we go. All right, John. $2,000. On August 11, 2000, what did pop star Madonna name her newborn son? Ramon, Ricky, Rocco, Rufus. She named him C. Rocco. Final answer. She named him Rocco. You're right. $2,000. Four thousand. Whose late night TV show features occasional appearances by store clerks Mujabar and Sirajul? Jay Leno, Craig Kilborn, Conan O'Brien, David Letterman. I'd like to ask the audience. Ask the audience? Right. You got it. We need your help, audience. On your keypads using A, B, C, or D, vote now. Well, nearly 70% say it's the David Letterman show. I'm going to go with the audience. D, final answer. Final answer, she says, and the audience is right one more time. <laughs> Up to 8,000. A basketball player who makes a shot from beyond the arc scores how many points? One, two, three, four. The final answer, three. You're right, it's three. Good going, John. You figured that one out. Going for 16,000. Which of the following is also known as the collarbone? The clavicle, humerus, sacrum, fibula. It's A, final answer. Clavicle, yes, you're right, 16,000. Now she's up to 32,000. Who won the Battle of Hastings to become the King of England? Harold II, William the Conqueror, Edward the Confessor, Henry VI. I'd like to um, own Dr. Berdicchio. What does he do? He's a history professor. And what is his name? Doc V. Doc V. Mm -hmm. Doc V, AT&T. Hello? Hello, Doc V? Yes. Yeah, hi, Regis Philbin calling from The Millionaire Show. How you doing? Hi, Regis. How are you? I'm here with your former student, Jung. Ah. And she needs some help. Well, I'd be happy to help her if I can. Well, I think you probably will. You're the history teacher, right? Uh, I'm supposed to be, yes. Okay, fine. Made him nervous, I think. All right, Jung, you've got 30 <laughs> seconds. You start now. Okay, who won the Battle of Hastings to become the King of England? Harold II, William the Conqueror, Edward the Confessor, or Henry VI? Oh, boy. I know, I'm, a, I know I'm an American right. history person, but uh, I, have I have a feeling that it would be... Could you repeat them quickly again? Harold II, William the Conqueror, Edward the Confessor, Henry VI. I'm about 60% sure it's William the Conqueror. 60 to 70% sure it's William the Conqueror. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. I don't know. Can we 50-50 it? 50-50? Yeah. Computer, would you take away two of the Romans? William the Conqueror is still there. I think I'll go with B. B? Yeah. Final answer? Yes. Dr. V is right. You won $32,000. All right, all the lifelines are gone now. Well. Let's take a look at it, though, for $64,000. The U.S. Constitution was written in what city? Boston, New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia. I have nothing to lose. I guess I'm um, just D. 
You've got a, uh, a free guess here. You right. Might as well take a right. title job. What is your answer? D. D. Final answer? Got it for $64. Four away from one million dollars and looking at the question for 125,000. Hey, in the 2000 movie a Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, the hero Lee Mu Bai, longtime foe, is named what? Jade Fox, Jade Dragon, Jade Tiger, Jade Serpent. I should have seen the movie when I had the chance. You didn't see it? No. I heard it was good, though. Very good. Oh, it's terrific. I guess I have to walk away then. Going to walk away yeah. with $64,000. I think that's the slight thing to do. Look it up there. There you go. Congratulations. All right. It's been great. It's been a lot of fun. That wraps up our college edition. We've had a wonderful time with these uh, young people. Giving away over $700,000. They've been great. Thanks, everybody. And from New York, good night.